What's up FOMO fam, happy Sunday. I hope you're staying okay in the current market. I wanna talk about some upcoming lunches because we always talk about the market itself in general, of course, when to take profits, when to accumulate, what the best altcoins are. And I got a lot of interesting altcoins uh, that I have my eyes on where I will be talking about soon. And these are some micro caps. So of course it is very high risk, high reward, but the better the market is start to look, the more I will talk about that in a bear market market we don't want to talk about micro caps too much because they could still really wreck you right but today i would like to talk about a couple of upcoming crypto lunches that are super super exciting so if you will smack that like button subscribe to the channel i'm here every day talking about crypto i'm not going away until we all millionaire i won't stop until the last subscriber is millionaire or i'm dead and Turn on the bell notification. Now, I got a couple, like there are a lot of good upcoming lunches, of course, right? But what now, um, in my opinion, are the best? I got three, which, well, four that are looking really, really, really good. Um, and a bonus one. So the first one is Carbon. Carbon is a browser, just like you see on my screen right now. I'm using Brave. Gar Carbon is a browser just like Brave, basically, right? Now, what's the difference between Carbon and Brave? I can show you they had a comparison uh, sheet somewhere where they uh, kind of uh, made a comparison themselves about being faster, about being more safe, about being uh, more rewarding because this browser is super rewarding and I have to look it up somewhere so sorry for that taking so long um, I'll go to the website but in the meantime Carbon has its own token coming out and the pre-sale is going to start soon on a couple of launch pads like engine starter pools launch pad I think um, and the nice thing is that carbon already has 5 million users that's the thing with crypto usually when a project comes out there's a token right and you invest in it but you don't really know what the adoption is going to be like right so it's always a big gamble this project has already 5 million users. And for all that I know, they are not even having an iOS app yet or a, uh, a, a Windows app, I think. So if you already managed to have 5 million users and then you release your token, I'm for I'm definitely interested in in into looking at your token, right? So let's take a real quick look because how can you participate uh, and how uh, you know, um, can you make money from this? The Carbon IDO is going to happen on a couple of launch pads. They're going to happen on Bull Starter, on Engine Starter, on Pools, and on Trust Swap. So a couple of the biggest um, launch pads is going to be released. I will be participating through uh, Engine Starter. The thing is, they're just going to raise fifty thousand dollars right there. So, um, and that amount is divided by all the people that are participating. So I probably won't have a big allocation, but I am not. Uh, I, I don't have any tokens on Bull, bull Starter pools or Trust Swap or whatever, so I cannot participate right there. Sale date is not set yet. I think it's going to be. Um, end of January, beginning of February, you see right here with these other launch pads as well, IDO coming 20 February and 30 January. And the token release won't be, won't be, won't be far after that. So this is going to be a really, really, really interesting one. It's coming soon to the App Store and you can already get it on the Google Play Store, right? So this is really interesting, 100% privacy, Web3 ready, so a real Web3 browser, three times faster browsing, superior ad block, which is of course like these ads, super annoying, bottom toolbar and get rewards. By the way, if you do have ad block, turn it off, I need my AdSense money. <laughs> no, you can turn it on. I hate that shit. And here they have the comparison. So I use Brave. I like Brave a lot. You can get, uh, you know, these pop ups and you can earn the BAT token, BAT token. Here you can earn their own token, the CSIX token. And that's where the pre sale is going to bin in. Speed is super fast, super fast. More privacy options. Right, so you have a VPN for free, which is great because if you use crypto, you want to use a VPN, you want to stay safe with that. Uh, block all ads and trackers and Brave block most ads and trackers. Um, 
I don't really have any problems with Brave and Ads, to be completely honest. But, you know, maybe if it's better, it's better. Um, and they have a multi-chain wallet. De it's decentralized, Carbon Pro. So really interesting uh, to look at this. Now, if we take a look at the tokenomics, because you want to know about the tokenomics before you put like, you can be like, okay, goddamn, this already has 5 million users. Great. So I'm going to participate in the pre-sale. Um, but... You know, you want to take a look at the tokenomics. By the way, for the people that might wonder, no, this is not sponsored by anything or anyone. I'm just, you know, sometimes I think it's nice to do some content about the projects coming up that I have in my eye holes. <laughs> uh, so let's take a look at that. The community governance DAO is getting 30% of the tokens. All right, so the most is going to the community. 8% is going to the seed round, 6% to the public launchpad, so that's kind of what I'm talking about right now. 5% is going to the team. Then 1% <coughs> is going to their KOLs. 13% is going to the marketing, so big marketing. Mm. 10% is going to the development. 14% staking and rewards, so you can also stake the token. 13% to the liquidity and listings. All right, so quite interesting. Here you can see their uh, release schedule, which you always want to check out. If you don't know how to read something like this, they usually have, in this case, 5% on TGE. TGE is the token generation event, so that's when the token actually is getting vested and you can claim the tokens. So for the public launch pads, the, uh, you know, we cannot do the seed investment or whatever. Um, so the public launch pads, we get 20% right away. Right, so once the token comes out, we do get 20%. So what you want from such a project is that, that, that it does a 5x at least, right? Because then it means you get 100%, so you get your complete money back at the first vesting, you sell it, you take your profit, and the rest that later comes, it's all profit, right? But you first want to take your initial investment out. It's basically what you want to do. So 20% TGE, one month cliff. Cliff is, it means you get nothing for a month, it's pass, and then 16%, every single month for five months. So that's a total of six months. So that's okay. So what you want to see by then, it's basically, so um, in six months, we get all our tokens, right? The team doesn't get anything um, for 12 months, right? So the team cannot dump on the public sale, right? The KOLs, they can dump, but it's like nothing, basically. They already get just 1%, and off of that 1%, they get just 5% on TGE, and then they have to wait for three months, and then the rest is getting vested after nine months, so it's like you won't notice that. Marketing, six-month cliff, right? So marketing cannot dump, and that's a big portion. That's good. Development cannot dump on us. So I like the, the token vesting really a lot. Staking and rewards, also six month cliff. So you cannot stake it for the first six months, or maybe you can, but you cannot get your rewards at least, right? So that can't dump on us. Liquidity, MM and uh, market maker and listings, 12% on TGE, locked immediately for 12 months, followed by one month cliff, and then Two and a half percent unlocked every single month, right? So this is getting vested. But then again, you know, it doesn't matter because if they use that for, I don't know, a Binance listing, yo, bro, I'd rather have them use that money to dump on me for a Binance listing than don't use that money and don't dump, dump on me so and not get a Binance listing, for example. You know what I mean? And... <clears throat> The community governance DAO also six month cliff. So what I really like is this already, like I said, five, 15 times, they already have 5 million users, right? Um, it has big marketing, big marketing, and I'm showing you in a while, right? And basically the only one that really gets their tokens within six months is the public people, the people that pro uh, publicly uh, participate. That's us. I think... Therefore, a lot of times you see a uh, token coming out. Uh, I don't know. You see a token coming out. And it, it starts somewhere, right? Release. But then right after the pre-sale, you see this. Right? People sell their tokens. Or it goes down very slowly and then you see this. This is what you usually see, right? In this case, I feel like maybe even it gets released. We go up. A lot and we stay there as well 
because these people will sell, but then there's nobody else to sell anymore, right? So I don't think this is that bad. Um, do you want to buy it <coughs> after it came out instead of participating in the pre-sale? I don't think so, because this is where they will start, right? Here. And how much is this? Oh, yeah. Here's where they will start. Um, yeah, here. And this is how the, token are getting, how the tokens are getting vested, right? So this is not where you want to buy it because with all these releases, you don't want that, right? These are the utilities for the token. So, uh, by the way, but, you know, if you miss the pre-sale, watch out because I think it could blow up after the pre-sale. Um, um, but, you know, if you buy then in the middle of the blow up. Mm. So that's that. Um Carbon, very, very, very interesting. They, uh, let me take a look because also pretty cool is this. They retweeted Sui and you might heard a lot about Sui. The big blockchains that are, you know, releasing Aptos and Sui, right? These are the big two ones that are coming out. They are tweeting about Carbon, right? So... I feel like if they are so into carbon, one of the biggest blockchains that's supposed to come out, then I don't know. They got their shit together. They got their shit together. So I really don't want to miss out on this pre-sale. I think Engine Starter for once has finally a very good one right here. Next one I want to talk about is very shortly, because you already know it, Delisium. Delisium is a complete metaverse. They even have a playable white paper, which is fucking insane. Their white paper is a game. The graphics look completely on point if you look at the trailers right here this is looking beautiful it's really some kind of halo you can already invest in this project by getting a dma and the dma is some kind of a node so you're running a node um, therefore you kind of contributing to their network and in return you get tokens every single day right and if you get these tokens every single day once the pre-sale and everything and the launch has been done you already have the tokens right so this is before the pre-sale so you can get an dma by clicking dma right here you need a code uh because it's a private note that you are running but because i have a dma i have a code right here so i can actually give you the code if you like um and here you can see the amount of tokens that you are getting and you get them daily right so once it co this comes out uh I am super excited. I feel like uh, people are very hyped about Illuvium. This is my Illuvium. I don't care about Illuvium. This is my project, man. So if you want such a code, leave a comment and I will respond to you. I will give you the code right there. Cdefy has some really interesting stuff coming up as well. I'm dropping this video Sunday, but this pre-sale is going to happen Saturday. So it's already going to take place after uh, or before you see this video, but the lunch is coming up. Um, I think tomorrow for you, or the day after tomorrow. Kuaku, kuakuma, kuaku. <laughs> it's a very <coughs> sorry, simple looking game um, with the best team, the best backers behind it, right? And I like that because not every game, just like Elysium, has to look that triple A. Not everything has to look like Halo, right? Because the most addictive games are the simple games that you are playing on your phone. And I think this is such a game that people can actually play and be addictive to. So this is how it's going to look like. The quality could be better, by the way, but it's rendering still, I think. But this, the gameplay, and I think this is going to, oh, here we go. This is going to be hella addictive. Uh, I'm definitely interested in uh, participating in this launch because one, the game looks fantastic, and two, it's going to get released by Cedify, and Cedify has the best releases all the time. Plus, it's a protected launch, so if for some reason the price comes down below the IGO price, Cedify gives us a refund, so there's basically no losing with this. So I'm very interested in that. Then another one that I'm very interested in, but this is planned for the end of uh, February, is Games for a Living. Games for a Living is a crypto gaming blockchain. I made a video about this project before, so I talked about this. Uh, search it up for my on my channel. Fucking hell. 
Um, but look it up, so I'm not going to talk too much about this. But this is a crypto gaming blockchain. They already have games lined up. And I feel like investing in a crypto gaming layer one is super, super, super interesting. And they have so much stuff. You can be a developer. Uh, you can... Uh, well, you they have everything they help you develop on their platform if you are a developer um i think this is going to be a some kind of a new immutable x uh to be completely honest and the last one which is kind of a bonus one is this right here that's the mount sale by snfts so the mount sale is something that is coming up and the avatars is what they have coming and the mount sale and this is super interesting because cdefy is building their own metaverse they have a team of more than 40 people that they are working on uh, to uh, build a complete metaverse and that metaverse is going to get uh, going to be called seed world in a seed world you need pieces of land you need resources to generate a passive income you can get this by buying it with f s n f t s right s n f t s s n f t s for now <coughs> I don't know how the price is looking by the time you watch your video it might be lower it might be higher it might be the same i don't know i don't care um but you know it just had a crazy pump it had a it did 120 percent or so went from 0 0.0012 to 0.03 so almost a 3x very impressive i think people are buying this because of the hype that is coming that they are going to make this token deflationary as well that this has so many utilities more than s fund and s fund reached a market cap of 350 million dollars in the previous bull run that's a 300 uh, uh sorry that's a 35x from where this project is right now 35x and that's just an all-time high in the last bull run right so i'm very curious to see what snftS is going to do but mainly the mount sale and the avatars on cdefi i'm very interested in that's investing in cdefi without investing in necessarily this token or the s fund token so definitely check that out be a part of their telegram group that's where you get all the information so these are the releases that i'm keeping my eyes on i know it's a bear market i know you should not expect too much but when these big projects like for example cdefi is behind it um, or sui in carbon's case i feel like this is at least something we should keep on our radar right and most of these are protected lunches so if it doesn't work out we get a refund it doesn't matter so that's it for now i hope you found it informational if you like the video like the video if you have an opinion about it leave a comment turn on the bell notification and i'll see you guys uh, yeah tomorrow I will be live streaming, so be there.